Dark stories about their gods were a favorite pastime of the ancient Egyptians. The stories will hold your attention and give you chills. Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the creepiest myths and legends from ancient Egypt. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Number 14. Isis and her deceased brother had intimate relationships. Isis was a significant deity in ancient Egyptian mythology, and her veneration was practiced in the Greco-Roman world. In addition to being siblings, Osiris and Isis were also husband and wife. Until Osiris was slain and replaced by their brother Set, they jointly ruled Egypt. Osiris was revived by Isis so that they might get close and conceive a child, but Set tore him into four to two pieces and dispersed them over Egypt. Number 13. Khonsu Ate Hearts The Egyptian god of the moon, Khonsu, was also connected to fertility in addition to healing. This is because a woman's menstrual cycle and the lunar cycle are linked. He was also known to consume human hearts. Khonsu allegedly even consumed other gods. Number 12. Anubis wanted a portion of each person he assisted. The ancient Egyptian god of the afterlife Anubis is symbolized by a jackal. He oversaw the embalming procedure and assisted Egyptian spirits in finding the Hall of Truth in the hereafter. His main concerns were the funeral cult and the care of the dead. Anubis enjoyed gathering awards from the corpses he embalmed. When Set killed Osiris, he gave Anubis the god's organs as a gift. Number 11. The Devourer Egyptians had complex funeral rites that included mummification among many other steps. After the body died, the soul traveled to the afterlife and underwent trials before finding eternal happiness. The deceased's heart would be put to the test against a white feather that represented equilibrium. The demonic goddess Amit would destroy the soul if it failed these tests. Number 10. Bastet was worshipped with mummified cats. Bastet is a goddess of the house, domesticity, women's secrets, cats, fertility, and childbirth who was venerated in the ancient Egyptian tradition first as a lioness and then as a cat. She kept the house free of bad spirits and illnesses, particularly those that affect women and children. Egyptians would bring mummified cats to Bastet's temple to honor her. Archaeologists dug up her time in the 1880s and found more than 300,000 mummified cats there. Number 9. The original Egyptian god threw up and spit out his offspring. Water, darkness, and autumn, the creator, were all there at the beginning. According to legend, he was a huge white figure who had been unwell for millions of years. His chronic loneliness was the cause of his disease. He was the soul god, and there weren't many options to produce offspring. Autumn was bred with his shadow to produce Shu and Tefnut, but due to biological constraints during childbirth, he had to spit up Shu and throw up Tefnut. Number 8. Apep Swallowed the Sun God Apep was a colossal snake that stood for chaos, wickedness, and darkness. He was the chaos incarnating god of ancient Egypt and Ra, the god of light, was his foe. He once allegedly devoured Ra whole, consuming the sun and turning the world entirely dark. To allow Ra to escape, the other gods had to make a hole in Apep's stomach. Number 7. Set Killed His Brother In ancient Egyptian religion, Set was a god of storms, chaos, violence, and strangers. Set is described as the treacherous brother who killed and dismembered his own brother in the Osiris story, the most significant Egyptian myth. 
The complex plan required creating a casket that was just the right size for Osiris. At a gathering, Set dared Osiris to enter the coffin, offering it as a present if he could. Number 6. Hathor was only prevented from ending all human life by fake blood. A significant goddess in ancient Egyptian religion, Hathor was a sky divinity with many different responsibilities. She was also Ra's daughter, who was notorious for being easily enraged. Hathor was instructed by Ra to kill every person she could locate. Ra altered his mind after witnessing the destruction. Ra disguised 7,000 jugs of beer as human blood in order to stop Hathor. Hather sipped the beer after being duped. Number 5. Sekhmet sent plagues against those who angered her. The sun god Ra's foes are vanquished by the goddess of war Sekhmet. She was linked to both illnesses and to recovery and medicine. Pestilence and plagues could be unleashed by Sekhmet on her enemies. Egyptians were forced to be on Sekhmet's good side because of her control over mortality. Number 4. Pregnant Women Prayed to Towerit The protective goddess of fertility and childbirth in ancient Egypt is called Towerit. The deity is frequently portrayed as a female upright hippopotamus with feline features. Egyptian women purchased milk pouring pitchers with the likeness of the fearsome goddess Towerit because they thought that anyone who drank the milk would be protected by the goddess's wrath. Number 3. Scarens were respected by the ancient Egyptians in part because they rolled dung. The Egyptian beetle also referred to as the sacred scarab beetle is a dung beetle. One of the most well-liked amulets in ancient Egypt was the scarab which was a representation of the sun god Ra. The Egyptians witnessed scarabs dragging down balls around the ground before each bug and its orb vanished into a hole, much like the sun does every day. Number 2. Humans were created from autumn's tears. The basic laws of life, nature, and society were predetermined by the gods at the time the world was created, according to ancient Egyptian belief. From the tears of the god Autumn, humanity was formed. The sad and lonely god lamented the departure of his offspring to discover the world. As a result, Autumn removed his eye and sent it searching for his progeny. Number 1. The god Ra gave the Egyptians perfume. For their perfumes, the ancient Egyptians were renowned throughout the ancient world. At the beginning of time, a vast expanse of water gave birth to Ra, the Egyptian sun god. Many people in ancient Egypt believed that perfumes were Ra's perspiration. Ancient Egyptians used oil-based perfume that frequently contained Nile water lilies. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos.